Welcome to another episode of Leadership Talk. Today, we are diving into a topic that is as common as it is complex. We are talking about conflict. Yes, that uncomfortable feeling that creeps up when there is tension in the air. Let us face it, conflict happens. Whether it is at work, with friends, or even family, disagreements are a natural part of life. Conflict in the workplace can be a real drag, but guess what? It does not have to be. In fact, with the right approach, conflict can actually be a catalyst for growth and positive change. In this episode, we are going to break down the different types of conflict you might face at work, how to identify the root causes, and most importantly, how to turn those conflicts into opportunities for collaboration. So get ready, because we are about to go from friction to focus. In the workplace, conflict can manifest in various forms. While conflict is often seen as negative, it is a natural part of any interaction between individuals with differing goals, values, or priorities. However, when addressed constructively, conflict can be a springboard for growth, innovation, and stronger relationships. So, how do we transform those frustrating disagreements into opportunities for collaboration? To navigate these situations effectively, it is crucial to understand the different types of conflict their root causes, and the dynamics at play. Let us start by discussing the four common types of workplace conflict. Type 1. Task conflict. This is when we cannot agree on how to get something done. This arises from disagreements over how to complete a task, how to approach a project, getting in alignment on project timelines, or how to prioritize work activities. While we can experience some friction here, This type of conflict is not all bad because it can present opportunities for a healthy form of conflict. When managed effectively, it can lead to diverse perspectives and potentially better solutions. Type 2. Relationship Conflict Think personality clashes, interpersonal friction, miscommunication, communication breakdowns, or negative emotions between colleagues. Have you ever had any of these? I have, and I can say it was not fun. This type of conflict can significantly hinder teamwork, create a tense atmosphere, and decrease productivity. Type 3. Value Conflict This occurs when we hold fundamentally different beliefs or principles, when our personal beliefs just do not align with others. Deep-seated differences in ethics or priorities can lead to value conflicts. These can be particularly challenging to resolve as they touch on our core principles and belief systems. Type 4. Interest Conflict I remember experiencing these in my corporate leadership roles when we were all competing for limited resources. When competition arises over limited resources, power dynamics, or recognition, interest conflict takes hold. This type of conflict can manifest in struggles over promotions, budgets, or project ownership. But wait, there's more. Conflict is not always as simple as it seems. Sometimes, what we see on the surface is just the tip of the iceberg. Beneath all those arguments and disagreements are deeper issues. Beyond the conflict categories are the root causes of conflict that can be equally diverse. Here are six common causes. Root Cause 1. Scarce Resources Imagine a department with a limited budget. People might feel they cannot do their jobs effectively, leading to competition and resentment towards colleagues who get more resources. This scarcity can be over things like money, equipment, or even just time. All of these are conflict triggers. People might feel they have to fight tooth and nail to get what they need, leading to tension and frustration. Root Cause 2. Miscommunication Sometimes the problem is not a lack of resources, but a lack of clarity. When information is unclear, incomplete, or misinterpreted, misunderstandings and conflict can follow. Unclear instructions, vague emails, or even misinterpreted jokes can all create misunderstandings and frustration. Can you think of someone who got into an argument over an email because they did not pick up on the sarcasm? Yes, that is miscommunication at its finest. Sometimes, conflicts arise simply because we do not understand each other. Root Cause 3 Communication breakdowns. Clear communication is key to a healthy work environment. But what happens when information gets mixed up, misunderstood, or is just plain incomplete? 
Miscommunication can lead to misunderstandings in conflict faster than you can say crossed wires. Misunderstandings can also happen face to face. This is why it is important to actively listen, ask clarifying questions, and making sure everyone is on the same page. Anything that creates confusion is a recipe for friction. Root cause for personality clashes. Let us be honest, sometimes we just rub people the wrong way. We all have different working styles and communication preferences. Sometimes these fundamental differences can create friction and tension between colleagues. One person might be a super detail-oriented planner, while another thrives on last-minute creativity or a more spontaneous approach. These clashes can be frustrating, create tension, and make it hard to see eye to eye. But by understanding each other's styles, you can learn to work together more effectively. Root Cause 5. Unmet Needs Everyone has basic needs at work, like feeling secure in their job, getting recognized for their contributions, and having some autonomy. Have you ever felt like your contributions are going unnoticed, or that you don't have enough control over your work? If these needs are unmet, frustration can build and eventually erupt. Unmet needs can manifest as conflict, as people try to get what they feel they deserve. Root Cause 6. Broken Systems and Structural Issues Let us not forget about the role of organizational structures in conflict. Sometimes the conflict is not about the people themselves, but about the systems they work in. An unclear organizational structure such as blurred reporting lines, ambiguous job roles, or unfair company policies can all create a breeding ground for conflict. If the system itself is flawed, it can make it harder for people to collaborate effectively. When people are unsure of what is expected of them or who to turn to, conflict can easily arise. But understanding the different types and causes of conflict is the first step. There are other aspects to consider which I will discuss briefly. Aspect 1. Conflict Styles We all have our own way of dealing with disagreements. Some people are assertive, head-on, confrontational, and ready to tackle the issue. Others prefer a more chilled, laid-back, collaborative approach, or maybe even avoid it altogether. Recognizing these styles in yourself and others is key to navigating disagreements effectively. Aspect 2. Power Dynamics Unequal power dynamics can make conflict even more intense. When one person has way more power, it can make conflict even trickier. It is important to create a space where everyone feels comfortable speaking their mind, regardless of their position on the organization chart. Aspect 3. Emotions Conflict can also stir up strong emotions like anger, frustration, or fear. Recognizing, understanding, and managing these emotions is crucial for constructive conversations and reaching solutions. It is important to acknowledge these feelings and keep them in check for a productive conversation. Aspect 4. Perception. The way we perceive a situation hugely impacts how we react to conflict. Our biases and past experiences can color how we interpret words and actions. That is why active listening and acknowledging the other person's perspective are essential. By taking the time to understand their experience, we can bridge that gap in perception. Let us now talk about how we move from conflict management to growth. Not all conflict is bad news. Healthy debates can spark new ideas, lead to more innovative solutions, and even strengthen team dynamics. The key is to manage conflict constructively, focusing on the issue at hand rather than resorting to personal attacks. So, conflict happens, what can we do about it? This is where collaboration comes in. This is your secret weapon against the chaos of conflict. Collaboration is not just a buzzword, it is a game changer. It is about working together towards a common goal, leveraging everyone's strengths and perspectives. By leveraging diverse perspectives, expertise, and resources, team members can achieve outcomes that surpass individual efforts. This collaborative spirit unlocks a multitude of benefits for both individuals and organizations. Here are a few examples of what you get with collaboration. Example 1. Enhance Problem Solving A single mind is good, but multiple minds are better. A single person's perspective may be limited. 
but bringing together different viewpoints allows team members to identify a wider range of solutions and potential roadblocks. Example 2. Innovation and Creativity When diverse backgrounds and experiences come together, new ideas and innovative solutions are more likely to emerge. Collaboration creates a breeding ground for creativity and forms a dynamic environment where new ideas are explored. Example 3. Improve productivity and efficiency. Collaboration allows teams to leverage each other's strengths. Teamwork allows individuals to specialize in their areas of expertise, streamlining processes, and minimizing duplication of effort. Example 4. Stronger work relationships and morale. Feeling valued and heard is crucial for employee satisfaction. When employees feel valued for their contributions and ideas, their engagement with the work and the organization increases. Example 5. Increased learning and development. Collaboration provides a platform for knowledge sharing and cross-training. By working alongside colleagues with different skill sets, individuals can learn new things and expand their professional repertoire. As discussed, conflict in the workplace is inevitable, but it does not have to derail productivity. By employing effective strategies, you can transform conflict from a disruptive force into a springboard for collaboration. Here are six tips to help you effectively move the needle towards collaborative partnerships. Tip 1. Shift the focus. When conflict strikes, emotions can flare. It is easy to point fingers and get personal but that is not helpful. Instead, shift the focus to the issue at hand, not the people involved. We are not here to assign blame. We are here to find solutions. Think of it like this. You and your teammate are facing a puzzle together. The puzzle pieces represent the conflict and your goal is to work together to put them in the right place. Focus on understanding the problem, not who messed up. Tip two, active listening and empathy. This is where true collaboration begins. Actively listen to the other person, both what they are saying and how they're saying it. Try to see things from their perspective and understand the emotions behind their words. Acknowledge their feelings, even if you disagree. When you show empathy and respect, you build trust, paving the way for a more productive conversation. Tip three, clear and open communication. Communication is the king, queen, and the whole royal court when it comes to resolving conflict. Misunderstandings are a recipe for disaster, so be clear and honest. Express your thoughts calmly and confidently, but avoid accusations. Use I statements to take ownership of your perspective without placing blame. Remember, it is about open dialogue, not a one-sided rant. Listen to understand, not just to jump in with your next point. Tip 4 seek common ground. Even in the most heated disagreements, there is usually some common ground. Maybe it is a shared desire for a positive outcome or a similar frustration with the root cause of the conflict. Look for these commonalities, no matter how small they seem. They can be the foundation for building solutions together. Tip 5. Creative Problem Solving. Approach the situation with solutions in mind. Brainstorm different options together, considering everyone's viewpoints. The goal is to find win-win solutions that address everyone's concerns. Do not be afraid to think outside the box and explore unconventional approaches. Tip 6. Compromise and flexibility. Finding common ground often means compromise. Be prepared to adjust your position a bit while still advocating for your core needs. A little flexibility can go a long way in resolving conflict and reaching a solution that works for everyone. Remember, collaboration is not a one-time deal. We need to keep the momentum going. That means investing in relationships, setting clear goals, and being open to feedback. Think of it as a marathon, not a sprint. And there you have it. Conflict does not have to be the end of the world. With the power of collaboration, we can turn those clashes into opportunities for growth and change. So the next time you find yourself in the midst of conflict, remember there is a light at the end of the tunnel, and it is called collaboration. What are your experiences with conflict? Share your best tips for dealing with conflict in the comments below. We would love to hear from you.
Remember, by understanding the different types of conflict, its root causes, and the role of perception, we can approach disagreements with a more informed perspective. If you find this video valuable, do not forget to hit that like button and share it with your colleagues. And if you have not already, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more leadership insights and tips. I am Dr. Joan Lawrence Ross, founder of Uncommon Resilience and your leadership success coach. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, keep leading with passion and purpose.